to get some speed on these things. Not a bad location, eh? The world's, sorry, Europe's largest lake. Lake Geneva, the French side. We haven't actually gone to Switzerland yet. The border to Switzerland is literally just a little bit further on. Yay, got the stuff board out. Yes, so the van is parked just beyond that tree line that you can see behind me, about 50 meters that way, so this was a perfect spot to get in the water. And Nick's been out there now for a good sort of half an hour and he hasn't fallen in yet. Don't tempt fate, don't jinx me, don't jinx me. <laughs> the water is pretty cold, so he probably doesn't want to either, even though he's got his wetsuit on. But I mean, what a lovely sort of evening and obviously we've got all of this area to ourselves. So maybe if we find another lake a little bit early on in the day, Sarah might go in the kayak with the dogs and I can just pull her along. I'm just there to do all the filming and make him look fabulous and more professional than what he is. Hey, hey, hey. That's gonna be loving it. Yes, yeah, so this is kind of why we decided to spend our last night in France rather than crossing the border. Um, because this location is pretty nice, right by the lake, it's nice and quiet, and then we get a fresh start, fresh day, for new country day, tomorrow. Plus, we need to do a little bit more research tonight, because once we get into Switzerland, we don't have any internet. Uh, we only plan to be there for a, a few days, but we need to just do a bit of research on where exactly we're gonna stay and uh, where we're gonna go on our way passing through. And this is just perfect for Charlie. You must know by now he's got a duck fascination and this is just like a viewing platform for him. We've seen like swans go past, various ducks and birds. We don't have to worry because there's no way he's going to jump in but it's perfect for him. He can see for miles. Not a bad way to end our little trip, our little journey through France. After five days of rain and lots of grey cold weather, really overcast, it's been so nice the last few days at the stunning Lake Annecy and then beautiful Lake Geneva. This was a really unexpected stop actually to be parked right on the shores because it's quite built up when you drive through. To be parked right on the shores with not much noise from the road, surrounded by mountains at this end, and a beautiful sunset over the lake. Happy days. Good morning, everyone. It's a lovely start to the day on this pretty, relaxed, calm lake, as you can see and we are very very excited because today is new country day yes we are going into switzerland last year we went for a day this year we're tripling that or maybe more if we get lost but yeah really excited um, we're heading to germany and we're going straight through switzerland and there's some fantastic places we're going to see along the way
we literally just pulled off the road to have a little cup of tea and a five minute break and it started tipping it down. It's been a lovely day so far. It's like 4.30 now, 4.30 p.m., five o'clock, something like that. We are just outside Interlaken um, and yes, the heavens have opened. Oh my gosh. We're very lucky though, because it's not very easy to park in Switzerland. We found this when we were here for a day last time. And the same now, there's a lot of private park and all these special parking discs. Sometimes you do have a meter, but as it happens, we just pulled over here, then it started raining, but it's lucky that this is totally free, which is unusual. So we're probably gonna spend the next hour or so doing some edits and waiting for the rain to stop. Yeah, but we can't stop here overnight. There's a sign saying, sign saying no parking between you know, eight in the evening and whatever time in the morning, which is quite common in Switzerland. Switzerland is absolutely beautiful, but it's not very van friendly. There's not many places to park up for free or just park up anywhere. Morning guys, so we've just spent our first night in Switzerland after an absolutely awesome day yesterday. Yeah, like this country is crazy good, beautiful mountains everywhere you go. It's like being in a mountain range the whole time. And the drive that we've taken has been brilliant. So we decided not to take highways and tolls. Basically, we're only here mm. for a couple of days, so we didn't want to pay for a Vignetta and we just like to take the scenic route. So we were a little bit worried yeah. if we were going to be okay not using the motorways and the, the toll roads, but it was totally fine. And just a really, really good route through. Yeah, it's just been an absolutely awesome drive. Roads are immaculate and in perfect condition and the drive and the route it takes you is just incredible. It's breathtaking. The scenery is everything I imagine Switzerland to be. You've just, you're just basically surrounded by snow-capped mountains leading down to like pine forests, dark green pine forests, and then like bright green, perfect fields, and then these stunningly blue lakes. It's just incredible. And then you've got, you've got these really picturesque churches, these little wooden churches with um, steeples, and then the, the cladding on the outside is like, I don't know where it dates back to, but it's like scales of a dragon or something. Really, really pretty. And then, yeah, we've made a few stop stop offs. We've stopped to off at little villages and had a walk around these these old castles, really picturesque wooden castles and things. It's just it's just been amazing. But yeah, it's just been absolutely beautiful. We had such a nice day yesterday and um, really, really happy that we made the detour through Switzerland because mm. as we said before, we weren't actually planning on driving through Switzerland. We were gonna carry on through France to get into Germany. And we but thought we'd just take the easy route and go through the, one of the most mountainous countries in Europe. Yeah. But it has been well worth it. As Last time when we came here, we were only here for like 24 hours and it was a southern tip in Italy and it was nice. But this is a proper taste of Switzerland. We have literally driven, at the moment we're in this kind of the centre um, and we've just driven straight up and it's been awesome. The van managed really well. It was quite steep in parts, but we did it all right and it wasn't too bad. So yeah, really glad we chose this route. But before we started all of this amazing drive, our first stop off in Switzerland was the Chillon, Chillon? Chillon, Chillon Castle or Chillon Chateau. Chateau. Never sure what the difference is. Like 
Chateau Castle? Is Chateau just a really rich person's house? Make Chateau it look like is like a kind of like a mansion, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, we stopped off there, which is on the eastern side of Lake Geneva, if you like. And yeah, that was really quite impressive, wasn't it? It's on the Swiss side of Lake Geneva, right on the shore. It's got a little moat around it. It's basically on a kind of little island. And it is beautiful. I think it's one of the most visited historic sites in Switzerland and one of the most visited castles in Europe. And it is, rightly so, it is really beautiful. It's sat on the shores in the backdrop. You can see the big snowy cap mountains. And it actually dates back to the 10th century. Although, within its grounds, they have found objects from the Roman times and the Bronze Age. So it's pretty old and it is well worth a visit. We didn't actually go inside, we just looked from the outside because we're in a bit of a rush, obviously, as we always are. But it is worth a trip down. But it hasn't all been fantastic since arriving in Switzerland yesterday morning. When we crossed the border, we actually got stopped. So there we were, all happy and excited about New Country Day. And then, I'm not sure if it was French or Swiss, but um, the customs officer there pulled us over, asked for our passports, was okay at first, and then he got a little bit funny, didn't he? He wasn't a very nice man at all. No, maybe know. he'd had a bad morning or a bad day the day before, I don't know. But... It was a bit funny and yeah, and they proper searched us. Yeah. So he didn't ask for any um, documents or driving license or... Insurance documents, anything like nothing. that. Not the dog's passports, even though they, you know, they yeah. said their hello to him. Don't think he was very happy with them barking at him, but yeah, he was, it wasn't particularly very nice. No, and basically what happened is he sent me off, completely searched the van with his sniffer dog. Very nice sniffer dog. Wagging his tail, couldn't really be bothered. Probably yeah. sniffing out the dog's treats. Yeah. So but, it wasn't very nice mm, because we did feel a bit like... Well, it made to feel like criminals because he was in the van, shoes on, dog just jumping around all over the furniture, not very happy. He had to take all the bike rack off, all the bikes off the back. So anyway, it was okay in the end because obviously he didn't find anything. He was obviously looking for drugs and um, he wasn't bothered about, like I said, seeing any paperwork. So then we continued our drive through, but a bit of a crazy... Entrance into Switzerland, yeah. Yeah, nothing like that's happened to us before. So it was a bit strange. But anyways, um, yes. And then... So that was getting into Switzerland and then we actually went into Switzerland with a pretty much empty fuel tank because from our last trip, we, sh we sure we remembered Switzerland being a little bit cheaper than France because France is quite expensive on fuel. But we get to the fuel station. And the diesel was actually more. The most expensive we've ever had anywhere in Europe. <laughs> yeah, I think we paid somewhere along the lines of one euro 70 plus. So if you're going to Switzerland, whichever country you enter from, fill up on, on fuel because everywhere else, even though Italy and France is really expensive for, for fuel, diesel especially, Switzerland is, whoa. And finally, where we stayed last night, we're actually in like a proper kind of residential area. We kind of had to sneak up here, if you like. Switzerland isn't really that van friendly. Well, not that friendly for free parking or wild camping or that sort of thing, because literally, Everywhere you go now, there's no joke. There's signs saying no motorhomes, no vans, no you know overnight staying. Literally everywhere, the sides of lakes, um, little parks, little pullovers, little little yeah. dirt track, a little just a rough car park in the middle of nowhere. There's a sign there. Yeah. I'm surprised they're not on people's drives. It's yeah, just yeah, yeah. There is signs everywhere. <laughs> And um, obviously our rule, if there's a sign there, don't do it because then mm. obviously you can get fined. So um, I mean. It is understandable. It's totally it? understandable because as we've driven through Switzerland, you know, it's literally just mountains and then a small road, maybe a car park, people's houses. There's not much flat ground. Yeah, at they're all. like houses are built onto the sides of the cliffs, mountains, or whatever. And then there's a small valley floor, and you've got these beautiful lakes. But obviously, you don't want loads of motorhomes because once you know, if you allow it, then there'll be loads yeah. parked along the so shore. It's totally so it's totally understandable. Is, yeah. So it was tricky to find a park up last night. We were going to stay in Interlaken, 
um, which is a nice place. Wow. Absolutely gorgeous surroundings. Yeah. And that's what it's famous for, where it's kind of got the two lakes joining the snowy cap mountains. Yeah, it's one of the top things to see. But I think that's the surroundings because the place itself is a bit of a resort town. It's very, uh, very upmarket. Don't particularly like the architecture and stuff. Is but loads of jewelry shops and you know very Posh designer. Hotels. Yeah, not really van, van sort of like yeah. type thing. So that's why we drove out of Interlaken and found this little spot in a residential estate up a hill. It was a little bit stressful last night, a tiny bit, mm. thinking before it got dark, oh gosh, where are we going to park, you know, after seeing all the signs. But yeah, we managed to find this spot, which has been all right. Um, yes, but today is day two. And I think the plan now is to go and find somewhere, because we haven't had a coffee yet, believe mm. it or not, <laughs> find somewhere to have coffee, um, get out of this residential estate, and then start our second day in Switzerland. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that like button below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please do and keep the comments coming because we absolutely love to hear from you. And we'll see you in the next video.